Hey guys, welcome back. This is the second video in our classic cocktail series. We're going to be making one of my personal favorite cocktails. It's the much beloved old fashioned. You see a ton of recipes for old fashions, whether it ranges from smoked this or demerara sugar or natural sugar or what have you. For me personally, I like a very straightforward old fashioned. Uh, the only difference I would say in my old fashioned, I like equal parts rye and bourbon. I love the spice of rye. I love that natural kind of sugar that comes out in bourbon. I, I think a rye old fashioned tends to be a little too spicy, and I think a bourbon old fashioned, for my personal palate, tends to be just a touch too sweet. I think when you combine them together, the uh, what you're left with is a perfect old fashioned. It's slightly spicy, slightly sweet. Um, and then, of course, we do fresh lemon and fresh orange in there, and you get this really, really beautiful, bright expression of the whiskey. So. Let's go ahead and get started. It's gonna be a quarter ounce of simple syrup. And again, our simple syrup is equal parts sugar and water by weight. It's very, very straightforward. We're gonna do one ounce of Four Roses. And this is their yellow label bourbon. We love this bourbon. It's 182, 25 bucks a bottle. Next is Old Overholt Rye. This is my personal favorite cocktail, rye whiskey. It's, again, in that $20 a liter price range. It's spicy, it's bright, it's exactly what you want. And again, one ounce of that. Uh, when you come to the bitters, you see a lot of people using a lot of different kinds of bitters. For my personal palate, I just prefer Angostura. Um, you can go crazy, use whatever you want. I do think Angostura should be a part of your old fashioned mix, but after that, do whatever the heck you want. I'm gonna do two dashes of that, and then we're ready to stir the cocktail. And all we're doing as we're stirring the hot air, we're diluting it just a little bit and we're chilling it as well. And the idea behind diluting it is to just take that kind of almost raw edge off the alcohol. A lot of different ways that you'll see people tell you, say 40 turns, 60 turns, 20 turns. Really the only way you're ever going to know when your cocktail is ready is by tasting. So for that, right, two little stir straws. It needs just a touch more. What we're really looking for is a texture on your palate. So you want it to glide over your palate really, really smooth. And then the other thing we're looking for is to make sure that we've stirred the bite out of the alcohol. And that tastes done to me. So we're just going to pour that right in our glass. And then to finish the cocktail, uh, for bourbon I really like orange, and for rye I like lemon. I think they work really, really well together. Bourbon's slightly sweet. The orange complements that kind of naturally. And the lemon is, is bright, just like the rye whiskey is. So we just cut a really good expression for that. And when we cut the expression, we want to ensure that it covers the whole glass with the orange. And we're just going to take that skin side down, push it together, and we'll get all that nice oil off the skin. And then repeat the process with the lemon squeeze it in. This is how I like to serve it. It's just beautiful. When it hits the guests, they're looking at these beautiful expressions. You smell the top of the cocktail, because of course you smell before you actually drink it, and you're just hit with this really bright, refreshing essential oil that comes from the skin of the orange and the skin of the lemon. So let's taste it and see how it is. Oh, it's delicious. It's really, to me, it's the perfect old fashioned. It's spicy, it's bright, it's slightly sweet. The citrus really wakes everything up, it brightens everything up. So, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. So, you guys notice as I expressed into the glass, I didn't take the expression and run it around the rim. And I know it's something that's extremely popular. You see a lot of people do it. Uh, the reason I personally don't like to do it is the oil here when it makes contact with your lips is extremely bitter and it's not something a lot of people you know think about but I, I would 
challenge you to take, and I'm going to do it on camera because I'm going to show you guys, to take this expression, squeeze it onto your lips, and then taste your lips. It's this really astringent, kind of offensive flavor. And it just doesn't, it really affects my palate, and it affects how much I enjoy the drink. So that is why I would never rim the top of a glass with an orange or a lemon. That way you're not getting this really aggressive bite. You're just getting the scent on the top of the cocktail. So, cheers, guys.